some honkin' zits this month. And it's wild and, and alert. Makeup y favorites. Makeup y favorites. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got July favorites here for you today, and I'm gonna do like I normally do. I'll quickly run through my overall Friday favorites, and then I have quite a few makeup y things, or not quite a few, but I have several makeup y things um, that I haven't mentioned in Friday favorites, and then I also have some skincare things. I really couldn't think of like a hair care favorite or a body care favorite this month, so nothing in those categories, but I've got some other fun things to share with you, so let's jump into it. For overall Friday favorites for eyes, I have to mention these two. Technically these may have been like overall June favorites, very beginning of July, but anyway, I just wanted to mention them again because I think they're beautiful. These are BH Cosmetics palettes. This one is Galaxy Chic and this one is Wild and Alluring. Wild and Alluring, but they are just such beautiful baked shadows. They're so like bright and fun and colorful. Love them. And then I really, really love my Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. This is so glittery and beautiful and fun. It's like a party time palette, and I think it's a blast. I think it's so gorgeous. So love those for eyes. For cheeks, I'm going to go with Max Mineralized Blush in New Romance. This is such a beautiful, just light, sweet peach. It's like basically a more neutral not super bright overpowering blush but it's still just got this beautiful glow to it love that for lips i have to go with urban decay's psycho oh my gosh this is the most amazing glittery gorgeous not super glittery but it's got some little micro shimmer which makes it really fun and have this little bit of like a sheen to it so i love that and then my ofra long lasting liquid lipstick in versailles which is what i'm wearing right now an amazing metallic liquid lipstick. Love this color, love this formula. These are amazing, this color is amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now some makeup favorites that I did not already mention in Friday favorites. So first off is my Pure Cosmetics Disappearing Act Concealer. This is in light. So I had some breakouts this month, just like, I mean, not like a ton all over my face, but I had some honkin' zits this month, so I needed some like honking good concealer to cover them, you know what I mean? And I find that these kind of concealers work really well for that because they're not as liquidy and they don't move as much so they really like pack on well and then when you set them with powder, they just have a lot of coverage and a lot of like good staying power. So I really, really like this concealer. I'm sure there are other like ones out there like this, like this kind of a formula, but this is what I was grabbing for and I thought it was really good. Didn't irritate the areas anymore and like cause more breakouts. So I was thankful for that. So I think this is a really, really good concealer for especially covering blemishes or honk and zits like I like to call them. I've been meaning to mention this for months now. This is my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Airbrush Silk Pressed Finishing Powder. This is an awesome powder. They first had it in a loose form. I think they still have it in that form, but I love the press. So I just find it easier to use. So what I use this for is for touch-ups in the middle of the day. I'll get like a big fluffy brush, kind of like a tulip shaped big fluffy brush. Just tap it into the powder a little bit and then tap it right on my face, mainly in my T-zone. And it just soaks up the oil, blurs the pores, Basically just like makes your makeup look fresh again without disturbing it. It's not like you have to put a lot on, just the tiniest little bit just soaks up that oil, blurs everything, and makes it look fresh and new again. So this is my go-to for touch-ups during the day. I don't like necessarily carry this with me, but if I'm home and we're about to go somewhere else, this is what I'll go grab. It's amazing. Love it so, so much. I was like blown away when I got this Glow Minerals contour kit. So it's a little contour kit. It's got the little like how-to thingy in there and then you have the four different powders here. So two highlights, a matte one, a kind of like shimmery, I don't know, metallic-y sort of a color, and then your two contour shades. So I thought I would like this because I like Glow Minerals products, but I like love this. I mean, these are pigmented like the perfect colors i have the fair delight so these are the perfect colors for my skin tone they blend like a dream i mean they pack a punch 
but not like in the bad sense where they don't blend. They blend really, really nicely, but you just don't need a lot. Like you don't have to really like dig in there and use a lot of product and keep having to go back in. You just need a little bit, but then it blends so nicely. So I'm super impressed with this. But yeah, like I said, I thought I would like it because I really do like their products. Everything I've tried from them, I really have liked. But I'm like super duper impressed with this. Love it. I've also been using this for several months now and have been meaning to mention it to y'all. This is the, and I've mentioned this before, I think. This is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, which at first, you know, I remember when this first came out a long time ago. I thought, really? Like, come on. Is that really necessary? But when I got it, yeah, I mean, for me personally, this is necessary because I have a really hard time getting my mascara. I'm kind of new to using mascara on my lower lashes, honestly, and I don't do it every day. But when I would attempt it in the past, I would just have mascara everywhere and it would smudge everywhere on me. This is actually like a tiny enough brush that I can actually get it on there without getting it everywhere and it doesn't smudge all over the place on me. Like I get maybe a little bit over here, but honestly, that could very well be my liner or my eyeshadow more so than the mascara. So if you are looking for something that works well for your lower lashes, I think this is well worth it. I think it's $10 for this. I mean, it's tiny, but it's lasted me for a long time. Like I just keep using it. I probably should replace it, but it's still going strong. So I keep using it and I really like it. This was another kind of shocker favorite for me. I've had this for a while, but I finally started using it on myself. I do use this on clients at Sephora, but I finally used it on myself and I really like it. This is the Sephora Brow Filler. Now, I think it's number 100 is the brush number, but it's just a brow brush and I had been using different ones, but this one I find just works better than the ones that I was using because it's really pretty dense, like it's harder than the other ones, like it's got more structure to it. So I just, I find that I can do my brows a lot faster with it, like I can just really get it on there, it blends well, um, it picks up product really nicely, but then it distributes the product nicely. So it doesn't like do it in just a line, it kind of like makes it look like brow hairs. I don't know, I do use a pomade, I use the NYX, Micro, no, well, I do use that too, the micro brow pencil, but the Tame and Frame, yeah, Tame and Frame, something, something, something. Um, so I do like this with that. That's what I use this with, is that pomade. So just a really good brow brush. I think it's awesome. And then lastly, my skincare favorites, I've been grabbing for these pretty much the whole month because like I mentioned, I've been having some breakouts. I don't know why, but these are some of my go-tos for when I have a breakout. These are from Murad, they are the Advanced Acne Advanced Acne and Wrinkle Reducer, and this is the Anti-Aging Acne Line, and then this is the Skin Perfecting Lotion. I think this is a genius line. An anti-aging acne line is really hard to find, and that's why I like it so much, because I'm in my 30s, so, you know, when I get a breakout now, in the past I would just, like, use a ton of acne, you know, acne-fighting products. But now I'm like, no, I'm always thinking about anti-aging too. So it's really hard to find the combo of the two. And this does that. And I just find that when I use it, my fine lines kind of like stay at bay. Because I will notice, like if I start using certain products that don't work for me, I can notice that they get more defined after a couple of days. Whereas if I'm using something that works well for my skin, my forehead looks smoother. So I noticed that my forehead looks smoother with these. And also I do notice that it does help the acne and the little breakout situations. So if you're looking for that kind of like combo of the two, which I have always found it really hard to find, the anti-aging plus the acne fighting, Murad has a great line for that. And these are two that I was grabbing for from that line the whole month. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this month. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this month. What were some of your makeup-y favorites, makeup-y favorites, your skincare favorites, or your body care or hair care, randoms, just whatever. What have you been loving this month? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.